The objective of this topic is to produce quality fillet welds in lap joints in the vertical position using uphill travel. On a blueprint, the symbol looks like this. On both sides of the joint, deposit fillet welds with equal 3 16 inch legs. Use E6010 electrodes and weld all joints the same. In addition to your protective clothing and tools, you'll need several 2 by 6 by 3 16 inch mild steel plates and 8 inch E6010 electrodes. Set up the constant current power source for electrode positive and set the amps to between 80 and 110. Tack up five plates to make an assembly that has eight lap joints. Position two plates to form a lap joint and overlap them by half their width. Then tack weld each end. Make sure the plates are pressed firmly together to avoid any gaps when tacking. Add three more plates to complete the five plate assembly. Clamp your workpiece in the vertical position about chest high and connect the ground clamp to the starting end of the workpiece. Use a 60 to 70 degree work angle from the back plate with the electrode centered in the joint and use a 5 to 10 degree push travel angle. Strike an arc. The E6010 is a deep penetrating electrode, so use the whip and pause motion to get maximum penetration. Whip one electrode diameter up to dig and a half electrode down, pausing briefly to fill. Read the puddle and adjust your travel speed and arc length to produce a consistent, evenly rippled weld bead that melts into the edge by 1 16th of an inch to ensure complete fusion. Weld halfway up the joint, then break the arc. With the same work and travel angles, place your electrode about a half inch above the crater. Using a long arc for preheat, Move back to the crater and then shorten your arc length to about one electrode diameter. Pause briefly to fill the crater, then continue travel. Move your arm, not your wrist, to keep the travel angle consistent as you move up the joint. The finished weld should be flat to slightly convex with a uniform ripple pattern, equal legs, and complete fusion along the toes. Continue welding on each side of the workpiece until you've completed all eight lap joints. Cool the workpiece as needed. Check with your instructor and continue practice.